three military vets started on a path and got lucky. That's how one part owner of a new distillery in the Hill Country put it. Luke Simons heads to the Hill Country where that military spirit is apparently the key to business. In the heart of the Texas Hill Country sits a shiny new distillery. And inside, the sights and sounds of hard work and relaxation go hand in hand. We were the 92nd distiller permit in the state of Texas. While the craft industry, there's a lot of movement and a lot of people doing really great things, there's nothing that was uniquely Texas. Why don't we have something that we can call our own? Brent Luby spent 20 years in the Marines. Ryan Campbell was with the Army, and Judson Kaufman is a Navy man. The trio met at the University of Texas Macomb School of Business in a class called New Venture Creation. Needless to say, they created Desert Door, Texas Sotol. You know, 18 months ago, this was basically uh, an idea on a class paper. You know, we were turning this in and here we are 18 months later and it's crazy. Sotol is a spirit that comes from a plant found in West Texas. The group started with a small still and once they found the right taste, the next step was getting people on the Sotol bandwagon. It isn't the most beautiful plant, and it's certainly not the most friendly and welcoming to come up and touch. It's covered with spikes. It's very rough, very tough, but it makes this like exquisite and delicate spirit. So the guys here at Desert Door start off with something to most of us doesn't look so great, the Soto plant. And then they turn it into something they think is pretty remarkable, and they say the big reason for their success is because of their military background. In the military, you develop a plan, and then you execute that plan, and it's you focus entirely on the mission and on the goals is established by that plan. We have shared values and there's implied trust. And so we knew that we could count on one another. Ryan lives in San Antonio. Judson and Brent are in Austin. They put their business in between. And just like while in the military, their working family and their family at home support them through thick and thin. If you've got great uh, partners and you've got great partners at home, it makes it really easy. Just three former military members finding a new mission for their lives. In Military City, USA, Luke Simons, KINS 5 Eyewitness News.